Folks, welcome back to the journal. It is so good to see you all. And you've all been posting some fantastic questions and comments on my video recently, many of which, and I'm sorry I can't credit anyone in particular because I can't find the comments, but you have been asking me how on earth I get three versions of Airshow on my device. And I'm going to show you, even though I said it's quite a boring story, but so many people have requested it, I'm going to show you how. But first of all, we need to get rid of the existing ones, so let's get rid of them right now. Let's hope that works in the edit. Right, let's do the first, most obvious, easiest way to get Airshow, which you should all know by now. And that's to point your web browser at savagepool.com and download it from there. And if the certificate is currently working, then that should install Airshow onto your device as it usually would do. Now, at the time of recording, I don't know if you've noticed, but Airshow has been going up and down a lot recently. And that's just due to the certificate that keeps getting revoked. And if you download the application, you'll get the untrusted enterprise developer error. But to fix that, all you need to do is go to general, profile and device management, tap on the certificate that is currently attached to Airshow, then the blue words, the red trust pop up, and that should get you Airshow up and running, which it does. I'm into it. I can start doing a screen recording if I wanted to. And we'll do a quick version check here. We are currently on version 0.6.1. And this is the version that the developer show kick out on their channel, their Twitter feed, and it's free for all to use. So that's the version that you can get most regularly, but it's obviously as well the version that goes down the most often because we have the problem of the revoked certificate. So what if you want to get Airshow and never have the problem of the certificate being revoked? So it always works on your device. Well, if you've been a long time follower of my channel, you will be aware of this service called builds.io whereby you pay $9.99 per year per device and that gives you the option to download several applications, many of them tweaked or hacked versions of games and applications, but one of those is Airshow. And what you can do here is install Airshow and it doesn't require a certificate. Now, bear with me, this may take a few minutes for it to actually download because it go through a number of things and you're going to download it not from the same source as Savage Pool but from Bills.io's own service. So if I tap run it will ask me to install the application which I will do and it will take slightly longer than Airshow because I believe servers do take a little longer but that's going to install another version of Airshow which will drag into position next to my originally downloaded one from Savage Pool. So there we are, we now have two versions. And if I run that, did you notice that I didn't have to run the certificate? It didn't give me any certificate errors because there are no certificates for this application. And we'll do a version check on this one. And you might notice that it's an older version, 0.5.2, which probably means it has the playback issues. And you can tell it's the older version because if I go to the record option, I still have Smooth Seeking, which is now defunct, it seems like. Anyway, that's a builds.io. I assume they're going to upgrade their version to 0.6.0. But if I wanted to, now I could keep this version of Airshow on my device and even when the certificate gets revoked for this version of Airshow, that one will still work. And if you've watched my videos before, you'll know this. Okay, so we have the free version, we have the paid version, so how do we get the third version? Well, this is where something comes into play that's called Test Flight. If you tap on here, I have the option to install Airshow from here and this is effectively the same as installing it from the App Store because Test Flight comes from the App Store. So once it's installed, we should have a third version of the Airshow application now on my device, which you can see there. If I drag it next to the rest of my Airshows, you can now see we have three. If I run that, again, it doesn't ask me for the certificate. We'll check the device version number, which is 0.6.1, so the latest version. Now, you're probably saying, whoa, how do I get this? It's from the App Store. It doesn't get revoked. This is fantastic. Well, this is an invite-only application download. If you know the developer, show underscore TV, that's his Twitter account, and you have lots of followers on the show streaming service, you can request this test flight app version. Or if you're like me, and I pretty much advertise his software on my channel 
half of the time, then he's going to give you an invitation. But my advice is don't just ask him for an invitation on show underscore TV Twitter account because he'll probably get really annoyed because there's probably hundreds and thousands of people asking him for that invitation. He's only going to give it to select few who have, I guess, privileges who have helped promote his software. This is the application, by the way, Test Flight. You can download it from the App Store, and once you're given an invite to an application, then you can download it. And what it's actually used for is for testing purposes, but it's just been offered to people to do a quick download. No, that's the wrong site. It's just offered to people, and it does expire after a certain number of days, but I think the developer keeps updating that as well. So, you wanted to know how I get three versions of Airshow on my device? That's your answer. The free version, the paid version, and then the invite-only version. There did used to be a fourth way where you could download the IPA and then inject it onto your device using Cydia Impactor, but the IPA file seems to have disappeared from iEmulators. So those are the three versions I know. If you know of any other versions or ways to get Airshow on your device, then let me know, and I may do a video in the future crediting you for that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it interesting in some way. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And if you want to know more about the Video Gadgets channel, then you should subscribe because I have all the latest up-to-date iOS screen recording information on my channel whenever it comes available. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.